I literally ran out of gas at a fucking gas station. Like, are you serious? You will probably see clips of Valero, Valero, um, this ordeal. Valero, Valero. Valero does not care about IRL streamers. Great. Valero are dickheads. This is fucked. Valero sucks balls. This is fucking stupid as hell. Fuck you, Valero. I'ma cancel my card. No! You guys are not gonna believe this. I'm like, is there a fucking hidden camera show? Like, what is going? Like, this I really don't understand. It's insane. Uh, I'm, I don't mean to take this out on you. I'm like, are you in a safe place? I'm like, hell no. I'm a cute chicken. I'm at a gas station in a U-Haul. That I I came with my own rape van. Is this not an emergency? If you have an Bitch, it is. Mind, I'm out of gas. Bitch, I'm gonna have a breakdown right now. Implication? No. I mean, cute girl at a gas station. This ain't safe. Valero, you a skanko. Triple A made me feel some type of way. K Tara, I ran out of gas again. How does someone run out of gas at a gas station twice in the same motherfucking night? Because nobody, nobody would believe me if I wasn't fucking taping this. This is ridiculous. Oh, I am taping this. Do I have your permission to use this? You do. Thank you. You're awesome. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name? They need to give you a raise. Oh, uh, well, I'm, I'm Daniel. Um, give Daniel a raise. We can't give you gas now. You have to call um, U-Haul with their own roads. I do not have $100. I will not pay $100 for gas. Okay. See if they can locate someone who can bring you gas. Um, you're at 5940 Mesa Verde Road. Yep, so I'll be here all night. In hindsight, maybe I shouldn't have bought underwear from Victoria's Secret on my way home because I would have had a little cash. I could have gone to another station or gas station. But how in the hell was I supposed to freaking know that none of the Valeros would take my card and that there would be a fucking fake ass scuffed you know wannabe knock you know fucking whatever valero like if i get some gas maybe i'll make it home can you help me get some gas triple a what the hell what the fuck for do i pay because you can't drive a van if it's from down at valero it won't take my gas card because they're fucking assholes. You know, F that, I'm here now, I'm gonna get my stuff, and I can't get my stuff because he changed the locks. Do you feel like you're in a safe location? No, I'm a girl alone at a gas station that's actually a truck stop. What you said? No, I'm not safe. I'm a female alone at a truck stop. Do you feel like you're in a safe location? No! No! next Valero is 30 miles from here apparently they didn't give me enough check it out and I, I make it to another Valero on the inside it's a 7-eleven baby girl I need extra gas to make it there is there any way they could charge my membership like use three calls or something and get me three gallons I will fucking call corporate. I'm gonna go on Twitter. I'm literally gonna become famous because I ran out of gas twice at a gas station. Okay. I'm gonna prove that Mercury retrograde is real. For a fact. Real. And Valero is assholes. I'm just chilling in the back of the van. It's, I, I, you know, and there's free candy inside, which is kind of weird. Kind of weird. <sighs> All right, um, I'll hit you. And the guy, uh, the guy was cool. He said he exp he'll expedite it. And the first girl expedited it too. 
my knight in shining gasoline came real quick the first time, so. Yeah, and you need a little more than three gallons because you gotta go 45 miles to get home. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, bye. Bye, Mom. My ex-boyfriend has literally all of my belongings in a storage unit. I have the key, I have the code. He changed a lot. Only the clothes on my back that I'm wearing. I have a written letter, not notarized, saying I could have everything in it. He's playing games. I'm literally stranded. I drove like 400 miles to get here. So you're saying I need to go down to the courthouse? Operation storage unit reclaim. Did not happen got trolled on a with a fake key <clears throat> and uh you know wasted took the last of my money to rent to u-haul to just get like my clothes also my son's birth certificate like we literally we have nothing so this is going horribly wrong key broke um it's not going well 500 bucks renting this u-haul van as you see it's completely empty uh, was given a fake key, did have the access code, but I couldn't get my stuff out. I'm at a storage unit, which I have the code, the key to, my ex-boyfriend changed it, my ID's in there, my social's in there, my birth certificate's in there. Then, fun fact, um, you know, I brought some cash, but not enough, and I have a Valero gas card. Well, I run out of cash, Turns out there's not many fucking Valeros off the 101, you know, northbound. And um, I make it to one on fumes and I like turn off the car and someone taps on the window and it's an employee and he's like, oh, we shut down the pumps. CPM and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 530 p.m. So I run out of gas. I make it to a fucking Valero station because I own, I'm out of cash and I have a Valero card and they're closing up the tills. I'm like, I'm literally, I'm on fumes. The car will not start and he won't give me gas. Fuck you, Valero. I'm canceling my card. Fuck you, Valero. Fuck you. Assholes. Hello, my name is Ursa. I'll be your roadside service assistant today. Great, now I get to I'll talk to a robot. Your but, first, I would love to ask but her accent is calming. You. Am I at a safe place? That's fine. Not really. I'm alone at a gas station, ironically. Um, I only had a Valero card, and my car died right as I tried to pump gas, and the attendant wouldn't let me pump it because they're like, oh, we're shutting him down. There's the guy who knocked on my window and told me. Oh, we're closed. I'm going to let you be stranded here at a gas station, bitch. I'm not going to dox him. It's not his fault. It's company policy. But it's like, I know you could turn the pumps back on. Don't lie. It's some bullshit. Called triple, and apparently the next, the only one is like, the only, or the next, the closest Valero is like 30 fucking miles away. And so I asked AAA if they could give me maybe three gallons. And they were pretty cool about it. Oh, God. And I have to leave the back door open to get light because can't turn on the ignition light in the front. So waiting for my AAA oil night in shining armor. And the lady was nice, said she'd expedite it. So oh, what a fucking trip this has been. All right, y'all, Mercury retrograde in full fucking effect right now. So. The fucking GPS tells me there is no fucking Valero bitch for like, what, another 40 miles? How the fuck am I passing one right now? I gotta go over some divider, like I'll fucking four wheel drive and shit. But I found a fucking Valero bitch. Whoop, there it is, and I'ma gas this bitch up. And if they try to tell me at all that this shit is shut down, I'm gonna pop the fuck off. I'ma pop off, yo. This Valero better take my motherfucking Valero gas card, I swear. They better fucking take my card. I wish you would. I wish a Valero would. Valero, what's good? You better take my card. I swear. I'm on fumes, bitch. I'm not calling AAA a second fucking time. I'm not doing it. They're like, oh, Tracy ran out of gas? Fuck you, bitch. Whoop, there it is. All right, where are the fucking... All right, y'all want to learn something right now? See the little gas icon 
right there, where the little arrow is pointing, see how that one's pointing to the left? That is where the gas tank is. Isn't that fun shit, y'all? Yeah, so that's how you find it. So gas is on the left side, crib side, crib side gas, and we are getting a regular unleaded, and we're gonna fill this bitch the fuck up because this is not happening again. Who in the fuck runs out of gas at a motherfucking gas station? Who does that? Are you fucking kidding me? For real? Well, YouTube, it's proving to be my night. The second Valero in a row will not take my gas card. The second second Valero in a row will not take my gas card. Um, this one, I guess, now is technically a 7-Eleven, even though you see it clearly says Valero. Um, the last Valero I ran out of gas at, they brought me three gallons, but I still had 120 to go. I am calling AAA for gas for the second time tonight because literally there are no fucking Valeros northbound 101. Like, are, th are you serious? Like, fuck my life. All right, so let's give AAA a call again. Are you fucking serious? So, run out of gas once. Shame on me. Run out of gas twice. You can't run out of gas again. Like, no, I, I literally have to fucking record this because, like, nobody's going to believe the stupidity of this all. They're going to be like, no, you are lying. That is not even possible. But guess what? It actually is. I wish I was trolling. This is fucking sad. Ugh. All right, let's, let's all get a good laugh and call a AAA again. This is fucking sad as hell. Qualify for a Guinness record for this somehow? Thank I you for calling AAA World Sign Assistance. Where's the British girl robot? The fuck? To use our express automated service for battery, lockout, fuel, or touch. My name is Elsa. I'll be your World Sign Service Assistant. Today is Wednesday, February 16th, 2020. Are you in the vehicle at a safe location? I'm at a truck stop, so I and I'm female, I don't really feel safe. I am in the vehicle, yes. Okay, let's see. As you don't feel safe, I am going to put a priority on this just so you know, okay? Thank you. No problem. And is this one for a lockout battery, tire, or so? Uh, this is gas, and this is the second time I've ran out tonight and called AAA. Uh, Valero, northbound 101, not taking gas cards tonight. And I have, like, they gave me three gallons. I'm not even kidding, like an hour ago and I just ran out as I pulled up to another Valero and they're like, oh, we're technically a 7-Eleven now. Who runs out? It's insane. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What's your membership number? A call oh. update or a text update? Um, a text would be great. Okay, perfect. And so you're at a Valero that's actually considered a 7-Eleven. Do you have that address by camp? I sure do. It's, um... 5940 Mesa Verde uh, Road, King City 93930. Oh, why did it just delete everything? Mercury Retrograde. Mercury Retrograde, I swear, girl. <clears throat> Can you give me the numbers again? Yeah, no problem. Like, it just deleted it. It's okay. 50940. Mesa Verde Road, King City, California, 93930. Okay, perfect. Let's see if that pulls up this time and don't delete it. Let's see. Oh, uh, yeah. When I, Google, uh, when I Google it, it's like Valero and 7-Eleven. So, that's weird. That's false advertising. I was tricked. <laughs> tricked? Oh. And are you just in the parking lot or are you by like a gas pump? Um, I'm pulled over by the trucks. I died like 10 feet away from the gas pump again. Oh, and uh, is it for, which car is it for? Sorry, I have two on file. Sure, uh, well, it would be the U-Haul, uh, Savannah GMC, 
nine foot white with uh, 1999 writing on it in green and orange U-Haul letters. Uh, that I do not know. I'm the only U-Haul in the, uh, lot, though. Uh, uh let me see. Uh, maybe on the U-Haul paperwork it'll say. I don't even see a registration for this thing. Uh, I, let me see. I'll check the glove box. Oh, the U-Haul. The U-Haul. And it's regular gas. And I probably need like three gallons to make it to Salinas. Uh, La Lasso, San Luis Obispo. I need another night in shining gasoline. At least this call should be somewhat amusing. So this girl ran out of gas at a gas station? Seriously? No, I had someone like run out of it like 10, like just a couple feet from like the gas pump and no one would help him like push it a little bit further. Oh, what? That's, so he was, yeah. that's yeah, so, so lame. He was I don't know if we towed him like just to like get to the gas pump because like, you know, like I don't see like what happens after. I just kind oh of my. They have their own uh okay i can try looking it up really quick that'd be so awesome you're the best thank yeah. you cool thank you so much it's not your fault you're super cool thank you for your help and thank you for looking up the number probably other emergencies in the area I'll call if I need um, them for any reason I, I should probably call a U-Haul roadside though but thank you so much I, I'm pinching myself yeah. right now because this has to be a dream <laughs> this is so silly yeah, no, no it's not your fault it's the policy it's so out of your hands but I really appreciate yeah. you looking up the number for me um, have a good one thank you bye Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna call my mom and she's she's literally gonna think I'm trolling right now. Hey, where are you at? Guess what? I ran out of gas twice because Valeros are not taking their cards or they shut down their pump. In San Luis Obispo, they brought me three gallons. In uh, King City, I drive over the divider to get to this Valero and even though it's a Valero sign, Technically, they are 7-Eleven. So I called AAA again, and they say we can't service a U-Haul, even though they did an hour ago, and I have to call U-Haul roadside fucking service. I am not kidding. Nine King City. Did you not hear me? Valeros were not taking my card. Yeah, are you in King City? Yes. So do we need to go get... No, I'm going to call U-Haul and have them fucking bring me gas. And I'm gonna fucking go on Twitter and say, fuck you, Valero. Because I, the first time I, I ran out, I had my pump, I had my card and they're like, oh, we, we're locking up the pumps. I'm like, I'm out of gas, you can't do that. And they're like, oh, you, you know, you can wait till six in the morning. And I'm like, no, I literally just ran out of gas. Please help me. All roadside and then I will get back to you. It's just been Mercury retrograde fuckery all week or all month. I'll call you back. Bye. Buck my life. Um, is there a restroom? Yeah, it's just right here. So the plot thickens. Triple A's like, we can't service you. It has to be you all rolled side. I'm like, you brought me gas two hours ago. Like, where's the hidden camera? Like, I'm being trolled so hard right now. Oh my goodness. This is hella dumb. My mom keeps blowing me up and shit. This is not helping. This is All calls to and from U-Haul will be recorded. Breakdown. Assistance. Now require additional help. Press 1. If you are calling 
report an accident, press 2. If you are calling to report a breakdown, press 3. To report abandoned, stolen, or impounded U-Haul equipment, press 4. Bitch, I'm out of gas! I'm not in the best area. I ran out of gas at a Valero. Um, even though I have a Valero gas card, technically it's uh, 7-Eleven now. Uh, AAA will not service me uh, because apparently U-Haul has their own roadside. Yes. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we can definitely help you out with that. I'm about 70 miles from the next Valero, and I'm not kidding. Uh, two hours or about 70 miles south i literally i've had i ran out of gas twice at a valero tonight because literally no valeros are taking my it's it's insane um and yeah yeah so and even though triple a helped me out before they're like oh you have to call u-haul so i'm stranded at a u-haul parking lot oh where's Okay, I have the receipt of the address, I guess, in the front of the camera. And is fairly new and covered under warranty. I'm going to get a hold of GMC's roadside and, and dispatch somebody to get some free gas tonight. Awesome. And let them know I'm a remotely attractive female in a truck stop Bolero by myself. <laughs> if that helps speed up the process. I came with my own rape van, okay? This is not ideal. No, literally, literally. Uh, all right, well, um, let me let me get going with that. I'll text you a reference number in case you need to call back in anything like that if you need updates. Awesome. Uh, or, or you just need to speak with us, but uh, otherwise, is there anything else for me while we're on the line? No. I'm good. Right, just well, laughing at my predicament here. Only the, the only I could ha only I could accomplish this somehow. Oh my goodness. Hey, I mean, it's, uh, I definitely appreciate your humor on that. It's, Thank I think you. That was, uh, it's definitely a lot more appropriate than, than the opposite sometimes. Well, people get angry because it's a stressful situation. I'm just like, oh my God, I'm, you're kidding. I'm pinching myself. This is what? <laughs> I'm literally going to put a sign up free candy just to kill time. See what happens. Right? <laughs> oh, that, oh, yeah, right? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Thank you so much I'll, for your help. I think they'll give you, like, two gallons. Okay, so. um, that, 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 okay, hopefully that'll, all right, I'll, I'll make it work. I know how to drive. I won't have any AC or heat. Because I want to say I'm 70 miles from the next Valero that will take my card, and I don't have any cash at the moment, so it's like literally the worst. Oh, okay, yeah, that's what you're Super fun, yeah, right? Yeah. Otherwise, I just go to any other bullshit gas station. 
I should have went with Chevron. Chevron is, you know, premium. They got gas stations everywhere. I'm done. Me and Valero are over. I'm breaking up with Valero. I'm going to take this No, I'm serious. Like how this is this this is the ridiculous, you know. I mean, I'm not like that mad. I I might I may or may not go on Twitter. I can't make any promises. That's a good idea. Right? This is something. Look at what, look at what happened, though. That's, that's kind of a big deal. Twice! I could probably spin this and get a news story. I am a live streamer, so... Valero does not care about live streamers. Are you, are you on Twitch? Uh, yeah. Twitch and YouTube. Oh. Oh, very cool. Mm-hmm. Um, do you mind if I get your channel information? Sure. Uh, it's Tracy Marie Breyer, T R A C Y M A R I E B R I A R E. Everything's under that. Got a couple alts because I got striked for a twerk video, but it was bullshit because I age restricted that. <laughs> well, I, I mean, yeah, as long as you were uh, it's kind of, um, No, it was my channel got raided. My channel got raided by CX Gun Jerks. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. All right. Well, I will uh, I'll tune in, but otherwise, let me let me get the uh, ETA for you here. Get someone out there. Get them going there. Awesome. And later. Ah! <laughs> Yo, this shit is crazy. This shit is crazy. This shit is crazy. This shit cray. Literally, this shit cray. He's like, hey, let me get your channel information, girl. You sound kind of cute through the phone. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and you know, their shit's recorded too. So shout out to Daniel for making, you know, candy van jokes. Give Daniel a raise. And then he gonna, he gonna stack up and he gonna be like, fuck y'all. I'm at a gas station out of gas, believe it or not. And, um... I was told I had to use U-Haul's policy and then I get a call from CHP saying I have to pay a hundred dollars cash to get fucking gas like I this has got to be a joke so you're at a gas station right now and you're just out of gas yes I'm at a Valero that's actually not a Valero and won't take my gas card AAA won't service me because they say U-Haul has their own roadside I called and spoke to someone named Daniel. He was very nice. You guys should give him a raise, by the way. Um, and, and then I get a call from CHP, some woman who's like, oh, I was asleep. It was just really bizarre. She's like, we're bringing you gas, but we're charging you $100. You've got to be kidding me. Is that the police department that called you? Um, I will give you the number of what called me, but that was just like the weirdest phone call I have ever had in my life. It's uh, area code 831. Four four five five nine five three. To respond to Mesa Verde. Wait, wait. Who is uh, it? Wait. How are you guys charging me a hundred dollars cash? Uh, oh. For our service. Okay. This is to uh, take you gas. Okay, but this is U-Haul's roadside of service, and you're charging me a hundred dollars cash. No, uh, the CHP requested the service. California Highway Patrol. Okay, that. Why would California Highway Patrol be taxing me? I, I, I literally do not understand this. Oh, okay. I'll go ahead and call the CHP to let them know then. Yeah. Okay. I have AAA. Okay. U Haul has road size. This you got to be kidding me. Oh, okay. No problem. Yeah, um, big I'm problem. Not I was I was sleeping right now. I I don't have time to. Getting out. Okay, well then, so if you're ahead. sleeping, how are you working? Roadside would take care of me. I call them, and then I get a weird phone call from CHP. Some chick saying, okay, yeah, um, you have to pay $100 cash. Am, am I being extorted by the fucking police for gas? Like, what the fuck is this shit? So I'm going to call U-Haul back again, and I'm going to be like, bruh, I'm not paying for this U-Haul. You're fucking kidding me. Like, this is some bullshit. And I bet you this video go viral because how the fuck does someone run out of gas twice in one night, get extorted 
by the police and this bitch like I was asleep I'm all the fuck you you asleep and you working bitch what what are you doing clock out go home why CHP why are you paying this bitch is she asleep Here we go again. You have reached you all roadside assistance. Bucked this over is on the road again. Do you need police, fire, or ambulance service? Or assistance. My name is Donette. Are you and your passenger safe? Um. I just don't know why CHP would bring me gas. They're not like a independent contractor tow truck roadside. Like that was just really strange. Yeah, but why am I being charged $100? If I paid for all this extra stuff and it's roadside, like, why am I being taxed that? Like, this is insane. Okay. Like, if I'm going to be stranded here because I don't have the $100 and I have a Valero card and I'm outside of a freaking fake Valero that won't take my Valero card, I'm not paying for this fucking U-Haul. This is in This is bullshit. I will, I will demand a fucking refund from corporate for the whole fucking thing. You've got to be kidding me. And I'm not trying to be unreasonable. It's just kind of frustrating. You know, I was called. This has happened to me twice tonight. I've run out of gas twice. AAA gave me some gas. I said, I need this many gallons. I'm a hundred miles from home. I go to the next Valero to gas up and turns out it's not a fucking Valero. Call AAA back and they're like, oh, even though we gave you gas two hours ago. Mm-hmm. 7-Eleven? Yep. King City, California. Okay. Yes, sir. Let me get in touch with them real quick. See what's going on. See if they can find a provider that can... Because you're supposed to be covered. Yeah. And I'm sorry, I don't mean to be short with you. This is just crazy. The problem was that they couldn't find a, they couldn't find a provider to <sighs> bring you gas. So that's why they had to use the police. Oh, my goodness. Um, so let me get in touch with GMC, see if they can find a provider that can bring you a couple gallons of gas to get you maybe to another gas station that is a Falero, so you can use your card and see exactly what's going on because you shouldn't be charged $100. Get it was the strangest phone call I've ever had, and I do prank calls on live streams, and I was really confused. Yeah. I'm really confused too because that's just And I'm sorry if I was short with you. I, I apologize for that. I know you're doing your job and trying to help me. Yeah, yeah that's okay. It's not a big deal. Um I just want to make sure that you're taken care of Thank you. And, and you're getting gas. So Thank you so much. Get in touch with GMC. Thank you. Let me make sure your phone number is right. It's three one zero seven seven nine four nine six five. Yes, sir. Okay, I will get in touch with them, and I will give you a phone call back here shortly, okay? Thank you very much. Nothing, no problem. Is there anything else I can help you with right now? No, that's it, sir. You have a good one. Okay, I'll, yeah, all right. Bye. This is, like, ridiculous, right? If I was not recording all of this, nobody would fucking believe me. No one would believe me. You know, but this just happened. You know? I mean, maybe if I told the popo, the 5 0 my sob story about how my crazy ass scuffed ex boyfriend stole all my fucking belongings and I got shit now and I paid $500 to rent this fucking bitch ass U haul, go to a fucking storage unit with a fake ass key and you know what I mean? Like, maybe if I tell my fucking sob story, they'll be like, they'll be at some heroes, you know, for the clout, for the fucking, um, whatever to look like good Samaritan, but this is bullshit. I pay taxes and you're gonna tax my ass? Really? For two gallons, you're gonna charge me a hundred dollars? What the fuck's in that gallon? Fucking, mm -mm. This has gotta be a joke, bruh. And I don't give a fuck I dox that police line. I'm not a doxer, but yo, you're extorting someone who is stranded? Like two gallons, a hundred and something dollars? Like, nah, like, I what? I'm dead. This is the dumbest ass shit I've ever fucking heard. The police are just rolling up on me right now to bring me gas and charge me for gas. The popo gon' fuck with me. Hey, how's it going? What's going on? 
So I ran out of gas twice. Triple okay. A hooked me up the first time in uh, San Luis Obispo. They gave me three gallons, and I'm going to Salinas, so I ran out right about here. I only have a Valero gas card on me right now. I don't have a credit card or cash. I come here, it turns out this is not technically a Valero anymore, it's a 7-Eleven. Right. So they can't service me, then I call AAA and they're like, oh, we technically can't service you because U-Haul has their own roadside. And then um, they say they're going to send somebody and they couldn't find anyone, so they were sending you guys, but you guys had to charge me and like I am pretty much stranded. Do you have any cash on you or Nothing, credit card or anything? Nothing, not nothing, nothing. And this, is, this, this has happened to me twice. And I'm literally just getting out of like a situation like this is like it my it's not a good day for me at all. So what about the U-Haul roadside service? They call that's that's who I called the second time and then they said, Oh, we're gonna call GMC and I guess there's no providers or in because I guess it's independent contractors who would bring the gas. And they couldn't find anyone, so they're like, "Okay, we're." I get a text about CHP, and then I get a call from a woman who, honestly, it didn't. I don't even. It didn't sound like police or official. I thought it was a joke or something. She's like, "Well, I was asleep right now," and I'm like, "What? Your your sleep con? Okay, whatever." Um, yeah. Was she from Layla's Towing? Uh, I have no idea where she was from. I can say the number: eight three one four five 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 nine five three. They won't, what we were told is a tow company will come out and give you gas if they get the call directly from the roadside assistance. Okay. But they didn't get that call directly from them. Oh. So. So they don't take my Valero card. And then I call AAA and they're like, oh, you all has their own roadside. Uh, you gotta call, I'm like, I'm like, where's the hidden cameras? Y'all are playing with me. It's, it's yeah. not even a full moon. I can't explain this, <laughs> officer. Do you have your ID on? Yeah, of course. And my driver's license is a temporary. Uh, there we go. Where's your mom at? Salinas, asleep. Where were you coming from? Los Angeles. Sorry to take away your time from real emergencies. Did I already ask you how far you're trying to go? Salinas? So another... Yes. Hey, this is Donette with you all again. Yeah. Hey, I called um, GMC. Yes. And in a situation like this, you are covered. You're not supposed to pay any money. The problem is, is they can't find anybody in your area that's open right now. Okay, I understand. So that's why police. Okay, the uh, CHP is here. Yeah, no, I understand. They're here. They're talking. Um, if I have to, I'll just call my mom to come get me. I mean, she's like an hour away, but I don't know what else to do. I don't have. I don't have cash on me, and I'm totally canceling my Valero card. I should have went with Chevron. They are a stand-up gas station, and there's a million of them. You can't go ten miles without finding a Chevron. Don't get a Valero card. I am serious. <laughs> How, how do you run out of gas twice in one night? Like, th this is ridiculous. I don't yeah. Just, uh, I don't know. That's just crazy. Well, this is going to go viral. I swear. Yeah. Well, I do apologize about that. No, it's not your fault. And thank you so much for doing everything you can. It is what it is. Okay. Well, you have a better night, okay? I will. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. So GMC just called me and they said that there was no other independent contractors. You guys are all there is. If you guys to an automatic voice system. My mom's asleep. Was our speeding? Yeah, no. Hey. Yeah. So we ran everything on you. Did you know you have a warrant? If that warrant was actually active and your stuff wasn't taken care of, your license would probably still be suspended. Right. So I don't know. Yeah, look into it. Thank you guys. The next guys that come along might 
Well, I don't know if my night could possibly get any better. I'm going to buy a lot of tickets tomorrow. Thank you guys for being cool. This is insane, but I, I appreciate the, uh, the info. Thank you. No, seriously. I Okay. Thank you. All right. Good luck. Have a good night. It's not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording... So this is so fucked up guys, like I'm literally gonna just, maybe I have enough money to buy a fucking Sharpie and write stranded please help on one of my empty U-Haul boxes and maybe some good Samaritan will fucking give me some money, but like at first it was funny, but now like I'm literally upset. Like how the fuck, I can't even like this is, I, I can't even fucking, this is ridiculous. I lose all of my belongings, like, whatever guys, I, I need, to, I have to turn the camera off, this, I can't, I can't even right now. I'm literally stranded right now, I'm stranded, all I have is a Valero card, and I've got, and all the Valeros northbound 101 are not taking Valero cards, or this Valero, for example, is actually now a 7-Eleven, even though it has a Valero sign, it's like ridiculous, I mean, right, right, and that's no, it's not your fault. I guess there were no other providers, so they hit up CHP, and that's just how they roll, you know? Right, right. Okay, I can go ahead, um, I mean, it's 6 a.m. now, there should be, well... Like, I've been stranded for, like, two hours, like, not trying to be, like, annoying or, you know, difficult. No, I totally get it. Yeah. Hey guys, so it's 4 a.m. Been stranded at this Valero for almost three hours now. My mom just pulled up and she's like, I'm getting a gas tank and whatever. I was falling asleep on the chair. I'm so fucking tired. Um, I swear on my life, on everybody's life, that we are not paying for this U-Haul after this. You, how do you have like these, you know, policies and like say, oh, roadside to service, but then when someone's in a predicament, you try to extort them for a hundred dollars when they're stranded, when there's no clause that says, uh, if you're in a butt fuck, nobody gives a fuck town, CHP will try to make you pay a hundred dollars for two gallons. Like I'm done. You know, this inconvenience, we should, I don't think we should pay for this U-Haul and we should definitely not fucking pay full price. Like, this is fucking dumb. And now, you know, I, like, I was dozing off. I didn't sleep. And now my mom's here. Uh, and I still gotta, gotta drive for another 45 minutes home. And this is fucking dangerous. And she, you know, she can't drive two fucking cars. So, this is dangerous, inconvenient, and some type of fuckery making me feel some type of way. And my mom's like, okay, I'm here. I'm getting a gas tank. I'll meet you there. I'm like, mom, the, the car has no gas. It, it has no gas, mom. Is she rolling up? Hmm. And there's our hero, Tim. Tim, Tim's boss, you need to give that man a raise. That man is a good man. Y'all don't appreciate Tim. Y'all don't recognize the kind of employee he is that goes above and beyond necessary. All right? So if Tim doesn't get a raise and if I got to pay for this U-Haul, I'm going to pop the fuck off. Like, seriously. <sighs> Literally deliriously tired, guys. Like, I am tired as shit. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to take care of the baby tomorrow. I mean, I guess I could try to lock us in a room so he doesn't get out and hurt himself or get into stuff he's not supposed to, but it sucks, man. Fuck. Where you at, mom? You literally told me some type of shit. You lying. You lying. I don't see you. Mom! Mom! I hope she did not bring the baby right now. Like, 
hopefully he's asleep and she left him with my dad or something. Oh. Mom, you lying. You are not here. Oh my god. Seriously, mom. It's about a.m. and I'm still awake in this U Haul. It's 5 a.m. and I'm still stuck in the U Haul. Triple A said they come, but they don't. Sitting in the back of the van and boom. Isn't my fucking dad rolling up too? Does the whole fucking family affair? The fuck is this shit? Dad came too? Yeah. Y'all didn't believe me? No, but your dad, what time did this gas station shut down at some time? No, mom, I've been stranded here since two since 1.30. Sitting in the back of the van and breathing. It's 5 a.m. I think I might lose it. Cause you are fucking thinking I'm stupid. They must have pumped their hicks. I ain't paying for this shit. Alright, I'm kinda trying not to freak out right now because I just got triggered as fuck. Was it closed? No. How did you not, did the card system go down? What's the story? They said the card system went down. Okay. Um, but I couldn't pay inside because inside is tech. Oh, but I gotta film this. All right. Didn't I send you screenshots of all the fucking calls? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna pee and wash my hands. Go pee. See the problem? The spout's not long enough. Oh, inside is technically a 7 Eleven. Oh. Yo, this is fucked up. My parents literally don't believe me. And they both showed up. Are you fucking kidding me? A few